welcome to Ridiculous. I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. I hope you're living your best life. Son, turn that down, please. I'm trying to make a call here. Oh, I can't wait until you go back to school. Oh my goodness. I said hi, I'm sorry. Come on, Robert. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Come on. I know you see my call, Robert. No one is available to take your call. Please leave a message. Hey, Robert. It's me, Krista. When you get this voicemail, call me as soon as possible. I talked to Justin and he wants us to go back to a monogamous relationship. Just husband and wife. Mm, I'm not too happy with his response. And I did talk to him last night about everything you and I discussed over dinner. And just... Just call me. I'm so stressed out. I hope he calls me back soon. How did I get into this mess? Oh, my phone, my phone. Yes, 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 he's calling me back. He's calling me again. Hello? This damn phone. Hello? Hey, I'm so glad you returned my call. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. But hold on, hold on. I need to go somewhere to um, talk. My kids are extra nosy. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Sure. Okay, I'm back. I listened to your voicemail. Well, last night, I talked to Justin. Uh huh. And okay, sure. it did not go so well. <clears throat> Justin went into a long monologue of how he only did this open relationship thing to help me open up. He said since we already knew you and Sherry, it made our relationship easy and fun. Justin said you and Sherry have been great partners for us and have been respectful, quiet, discreet, and exciting, but that this was just an experiment. This swing relationship wasn't supposed to last as long as it did. Those are his words, not mine. And he admitted that he enjoyed his time with your wife, but that's about it. He thinks that you and I have fallen in love. He reminded me that in the beginning, we all agreed to not fall in love with each other. He said he regrets giving me too much freedom. And another regret, he said, was being in an open relationship that involves you, his boss. Now he's up at all hours of the night panicking and thinking that if he rocks the boat too much, he'll lose his job. He doesn't want to lose his salary that has more than doubled over the past five years. Well, he can pretend all he wants, but I think he really has a thing for my wife, Sherry. She tells me how he makes love to her and the things he says to her. Justin swore to me that he had no deep feelings for Sherry other than respectful and caring for her. I don't believe He said it was really fun at first, but sex is sex and it's not love. He said Sherry just gave him some extra release, but he loves me, his wife. Sherry told me he said he wishes he could spend more time with her and that he wishes he met her earlier in life. What? Yup. Justin told Sherry that when he married you, you were a virgin and you were rather boring in the bedroom and you would reject him so much and that the only time you did it with him was to do your wifely duty. Come on, Robert. I already knew that, though. That's the whole reason Justin allowed this open relationship. Don't try to play mind games with me. Justin and I have a very strong bond, and I don't even reject him anymore. I give him good sex now. Well, did Sherry also tell you that Justin asked the doctor in private about why your vagina lips are hanging so low now? No, he never said anything to me about that. Krista, honey, I never complain about your body. I love you just the way you are. Robert, I have to go make lunch for the kids. I'll have to talk to you later. What? You don't want to talk to me? Okay, fine. Well, let's have lunch tomorrow, if you're free. Let me check my schedule. Okay, all right. Hey, Krista, I love you. I love you too. Bye.